Shank is kind of the leader of a game called Slaughter Race. And when Vanellope comes across it, um, you know, it's this scary, uh, dark place. But Vanellope sees it and she sees home. And Shank is the, the leader, she's a racer. And they meet racing, competing. And she is really the personification of, of a, a role model for Vanellope, a, a, a perfectly catered role model for this character, Vanellope. She is a racer in this next level kind of game. And so, you know, to have, Vanellope has this kind of tangible role model now, and it, it's, you know, thrilling for her, scary for Ralph, threatening for Ralph. Well, she learns from the princesses that a, a, a Disney princess uh, has a dream, has a quest, and, and is inspired, um, so inspired by this dream that she expresses it in song. And Vanellope tries to force it. She looks in a reflection pool. She does everything, and she just can't make it happen. But when she goes to Slaughter Race, it happens organically, and then she and she sings about this place, Slaughter Race, that is everything she dreamed home could be, you know, with the uh, sharks in the sewer system and you know racing cars and um, yeah. I thought the way they they brought the internet to life was amazing. It just you know. The, all the animators and the artists that work on this, they, they put so much care into it, into telling the story, into expressing this kind of, this kind of world that is so visual and yet has never really been expressed visually in lots of ways as one place. I just love it. I think it's such a reflection, as the internet is, of humanity right now, today. I mean, it is at once a place that can build you up can crush you, can riddle you with insecurity, can force you to navigate where you pin your, your worth. And, uh, and I think because it forces you to do that, you have to come to some conclusions about life, humanity, existence, ego, how you feel about yourself and where that comes from. And, uh, that's why I just think it's it's such a tale of human existence. It's such an exam a, a meditation, on, like an existential meditation on human existence, you know? I play Vanellope von Schweetz. She's a spunky kid with big dreams, and she's a racer, and she has a best friend in Ralph, and... Um, they go on the internet and her mind is blown. Vanellope is playing her game Sugar Rush, which she's pretty much mastered and knows every, you know, part of. And, uh, and her steering wheel pops off and the game goes down. And unless she can, they can find a way to find a new steering wheel of this old game at Lit Wax Arcade, um, they don't know how life is, would be, you know, she, she, she doesn't have a game. So they venture into the internet, into the unknown, and they find it on eBay. And, uh, but that just really just is the instigating incident that sends them on their adventure of the internet. Uh, I, I think it's probably similar to all of us when we first discover the internet. I mean, it's just endless possibilities and, but also, bombardment and insanity and uh, and it just I think she's she's curious he's a little more fearful she glitches into the Disney princess uh, site and they're all there and they uh, immediately think she might be a threat you know they get ready and she says, no, I'm a, I'm a princess too. And they teach each other what that can mean. You know, they teach her that a princess has a quest and a dream and sings about that dream. And, uh, and she teaches them, 
that uh, they don't have to wear corsets and uncomfortable clothes. They can be in sweats and be comfortable. Uh, Ralph and Vanellope are best friends. They, they were both loners, outcasts that found each other. Classic buddy movie style, didn't like each other in the beginning. And now they're, um, they're siblings, they're, they're best friends. I think people should see this film because it's, it's entertaining, it's hopeful, it is, I think, such a, a true mirror to what life is like now as a human being and, uh, and where we pin our self-worth, where that comes from, if it comes from each other some unknown faceless entity or from inside and that feelings like insecurity and things like that are, are a part of being human. We just have to learn how to navigate it.